Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin, and welcome to another cigar review. This one will be a double cigar review and will be a two part because this time we're reviewing the Lot Union and this one is Tatuaje Splend for My Fathers. There we go. So, um, apparently they got together and exchange blend and make this whole package of thing and I don't know, somehow want to challenge the legend for the other, was it Padron and whatever. And now they're, yeah, it's, it's, it's expensive. It's stupid expensive. But we got one of each to review for you guys. So make sure to also watch uh, Smoke One if you have one, uh, Eric's uh, video. All right, so let's take a good look at this cigar. It's actually very confusing because I think that we only got two out of the four blend because the other two I have not seen. Like I only seen the black box with gold lettering, but apparently there is a red box that my father side of it made. Okay, so this is the tattoo on his side made this thing for my father, even though there's also a my father for tattoo on his blend. But the with the limited information that we have, uh, this is seven and a quarter by 50 ring gauge with a 109 style bellicoso head with a closed foot. Okay. And this is supposed to be a, a, a shade grown Nicaraguan Corojo 99. And um, that's pretty much it. That's all I know. Other than the fact that inside the binder filler should be all Nicaraguan. Uh, but it does not disclose much of it other than that is grown by the Garcias and it has some pillow the oro leaf in there and yeah that's pretty much all the information I have on this particular cigar the retail price is $60 and they made 1500 bucks of the red and the black did I just say 1500 they make 1500 boxes of each of the red and black and which of 1,200 of them was relocated to the U.S. market and 300 for the international market. But I have not seen the red box. I have not seen it. So if I seen it, I'll get it. But for now, this is what we got. The leaf is relatively smooth. It's like a milk chocolate color. Um, minimal veins look pretty smooth. Semi shiny eggshell. So now. Time to smoke the cigar. Okay. Smell like a... Like a sweet cedar-ish smell. A little bit floral. And then we had this uh, ribbon with a lot union print on it. It's cut and light. Ugh. Oh my god. There is an Excalibur right in here. What I mean by that is it's a giant tree in here. The draw is horrible, but it could be because it's a close foot. I want to cut more, but I, I, I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. It's going to ruin this cigar. But this, 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 this is large. I think if I pull it out, it's going to be a very nice draw. All right, know what you get to draw, but it's more like spicy, cedary. And right now, another one. Pepper. 
Peppery. Peppery. Grassy earth mineral. Floral. Zest. Some sort of zesty note on the woodsy note. Oh, this is definitely medium, at least. Peppery. A little bit of barnyard, too. All right, so let me smoke one third. So just before the band ends, I guess. And then we'll talk about it. Be right back. All right, first third. Um, not very good. It tastes like wood. It tastes like some sort of orange. Creamy orange, maybe orange soda, but like really weird taste. And some pepper. Itches my throat. And that's pretty much it. And I feel like this might be stronger than what I thought it would be. So it's probably a medium plus to fall right at this moment. Draw is okay. Smoke up is okay. But damn, this cigar is bad. Ooh. Yeah. Hopefully it gets better. Second, third. Um, but I can show you the first band. It's just basically the Tatuaje version of the band. It's for my father. With that three hands in there. I don't know. Isn't there only just two company? Why do you have three hands? There? If it's only two company, why is there three hands in there? Uh, okay. Anyways. Second, third. Be right back. All right. Second, third. This cigar is strong. This cigar is going to be full strength. Strong. Tastes bad. Start to get a little bit earthy, plus some paper box. A little bit floral, but strong. Had a draw issue, so obviously, you know me, pulled out Excalibur. And now the draw is better, but still strong. Yeah. Now, you show the band. La Union. With a salmon color and the brown color in the bottom. Top has the My Father's logo. Bottom has the Tatuai logo. It says Johnson on the bottom. It says Garcia on the top. And some sort of a number. I don't know. 10, 22, 20, 20, uh, 2003 and 5, 20, 20, uh, 2003. It is their 20 year anniversary kind of thing. So I guess that's what it's for. Yeah, both says 2003 on the side. The band looks good. I like this band. Must be annoying to put on. But yeah. Band gets a plus. A cigar. Probably had to be a, a, a Tatuaje fan to like it. Because it does not suit my profile. As you can see my like, face, I'm, like, I'm dying here. Because it's like full. Full. Full strain. Not a lot of flavor. At this point, given that it's a long cigar, this is a $12 cigar at the moment. $12. Am I being overcritical? I don't know. Anybody who has smoked this cigar liked it, let me know. But right now, I don't like it. I gotta finish last third. Hopefully quickly. I'll be right back. All right. So... Last third, you can't. You can see that I didn't even go down all the way down. It's uh, it's a horrible cigar. Last third, it tastes like water, steam, maybe a little bit notes in the in the retro hill, but the, the things like from time to time, it smells like I'm not even kidding. Okay, I'm not trying to insult them or anything like that. I'm just telling you what it reminds me of. It reminds me of, <laughs> oh my god, dog poop. So think of it as like your dog just took poop on a wee wee pad or something like that. And you happen to walk by that whiff of smell. You get that. It's like the earthy barnyard poop smell. 
uh, from the retro hill. It's it's not like I literally vomited a little bit in my mouth. <laughs> I still feel like I probably would. It, it's not a good cigar. Um, now I I was talking to the boys. I was like, you know what? Now I know why. Uh, my father had to make their own version with the Sumatra and the broadleaf because this thing is bad. It, it it's really 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 bad. And um, if I can imagine in the meeting room, they were smoking this, and my father go like, you know what? You can make your black box. We're gonna make our own red box using a different wrapper because your wrapper probably only the Tatuaje people were like, we need to use a different wrapper. That's that's what I think not actually happened. I don't know. But I think that's what it is. And then go, you know what? You'll release yours first. We're not going to release ours at the same time because um, if we release ours, no one's going to buy yours. So we'll let you release yours first and people spend the money on it. And then when we release ours, people start to smoke it. It's, it's better and they will buy ours. Don't worry about that. I, I think that's what it is. I'm not saying that, that that's what it is. I'm just saying I think that's probably what it is because why wouldn't they release at the same time? If they have all of the cigars, it's you know I think they just don't want to oversaturate two version and then you know significantly lean towards one version and the other version just can doesn't get sold. That's probably why. This cigar, you gotta be an actual like Tatuaje fan to like it. I I haven't seen a lot of Tatuaje fan, but you gotta be a Tatuaje fan to like this because it's quite disgusting. I don't want to finish it. It's full strength, no flavor. Okay. Now, given that it's a special version, the box looks nice and everything, um, I can only go to $12. $12 as far as I can go. And even $12, I probably won't never buy it again. No, you know, it's not even probably. It's ship. I would never buy it again. <laughs> this can officially fall under the dumbest money I spent this year. Because $60 for this, totally not worth it. Totally not worth it. It's long, it's strong. Uh, oh yeah, and I pulled out a stem out of it too. Can you can you guys hear this? Hey. You can't hear it. Never mind. So yeah, that thing's solid. So yeah, construction wasn't very good. Draw was okay, but it wasn't like maximum. And as as the, the closer you get to the last third, it's harder to draw. So I had to pull it out. And once I pulled it out, it it is it had more smoke, but yeah, now you can really taste that's just watered down flavor. Not a lot of good things. I'll be surprised if anybody said this cigar is good. So yeah. Anyways, that will be it for this cigar review. I would not recommend this cigar. I hope you guys don't fall for that sixty dollar. Wait for the price to drop. I think the price is already dropping. It's like I, I've seen some places have forty dollars something like that, and even that. Keep waiting. I think eventually it'll go somewhere like $20 or lower. But this thing is $12 to me. Okay? Uh, yeah, that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, love to see me suffer. Make sure to like, subscribe, share. Let me know if you actually like the cigar. I'm I'm very interested to find out if anybody liked the cigar because uh, you definitely have a different palette and um, a, a specialized type of flavor that you like. Not for me. Not for me. Okay. And um, yeah, after this cigar, tomorrow I have a live show. And then after that, I'm going to the DR. This will be released afterward. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the DR trip. I hope everybody support those, um, those content. I'll see you guys there. Okay. I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys.